I want to make my cheeks look like a baby's butt. Mm. back to my channel how are you all doing uh, hi I hope you're all doing fine so today I am going to show you guys my morning skincare routine and my kind of everyday makeup look during the lockdown so in the mornings after I've washed my face and I've taken a bath I like to start with this homemade serum it mainly consists of aloe vera gel, vitamin E, um, what else, olive oil, so I like to do that, just a few drops and sometimes I'll mix it with this Mixify Skin Glow Serum, I just take a few drops After that, I use this cocoon eye under eye. I use this cocoon under eye cream. It is very hydrating, so I really, really like it. Finally, then I would use my Cetaphil moisturizing cream every morning. I really like this one. I take it down my neck, my decolletage and the nape of my neck. That's done and after that lastly I would apply sunscreen just a tiny little bit now sunscreen also makes your skin super glowy so I really really like that Now for my makeup, I have not been applying foundation, I just like to conceal bits and areas, especially like my under eyes or if I have any kind of um, special mosquito bites, if I have mosquito bites, I would conceal that and a little bit around my area and my moustache since I have not plugged them or waxed them in forever. So I will start with this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I will mix it with a little bit of uh, Revolution Conceal and Contour Conceal and Define Concealer So a little bit under the eyes right here a little bit there And the revolution one just under my eyes since it's very thick just like two tiny dots That's it. i've been using my finger to do most of the blending I wish I owned like a CC cream or a BB cream but I don't so I just 
work with what I have and that is concealer and foundation. Sometimes I would mix just a little, tiny little bit of foundation with my moisturizer and just put it all on my skin. I really like when I press my concealer with my finger, it just makes it look flawless and skin-like. I avoid using any powder, so, yeah. but it's a humid day today, so I think I'll use a tiny little bit of powder. Uh, I just use this one palette every day, this is the Freedom Pro Artist Pad Backstage Palette, so it's like this and it has all these uh, highlighter shades like these what are these called face powders <laughs> contour shades and blushes so i just use this and i will take a tiny brush and just take this yellow my eyebrows I have been loving this Innisfree auto eyebrow pencil for a few years now it's really nice it has this spoolie in one end and then the pencil on the other so I will lightly just brush my eyebrows and then slightly fill just like the sparse areas here blush for blush I have been using this lotus pot color pot in pink craze so it looks like that it's pretty pink so I just dab my finger and do that I take my, I've been taking my blush up to like my um, cheekbones my temples Remember the time when like blush was not a thing and people would avoid blush but now everyone just loves blush. I think it's also because like it makes you look good. I sometimes take it a little up like here under my eyes. For highlighter, I've been using this master stroking, strobing, master strobing stick. And I just do that. And I use my finger and pat it. Take it on my eyelids. So there's a sheen. Usually earlier I would curl my lashes but then last year or maybe last year last year my curler just pulled out a lot of my eyelashes with it so that was really scary since then I've just stopped using my eyelash curler and I have noticed a difference my eyelashes have grown after that and they just they look fuller now compared to when I used to curl my lashes so I just avoid curling it and I just directly go to mascara. I love the what do you call the original Maybelline mascara the colossal ones. This this is the waterproof one I think or the water no this is not the waterproof one the black one is the waterproof one. I love this and the black one as well. Yes, I blink while doing my mascara. I don't know if that's frowned upon. There. Is there a difference? Yes, 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 see. So my mascara. 
mascara is done, my eyebrows are done. The only thing remaining is my lips. Um, I used this Lucas Pop ointment first. And then I take the same Lotus color pot. Same way, I just dab my finger in there, get a little color and dab it onto my lips. I keep it very um, natural looking, like my lips are flushed and no hard edges. So yeah, that's it. I think I'll add a little more blush. I'm gonna make my cheeks look like a baby's butt, like you know, it's soft and supple and like it's red and pinkish. So that is my morning skincare routine and my everyday kind of makeup routine so that you know I'm not a slump the entire day and I do get work done. It makes me feel good when I get ready. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's it for today. Bye.